previously on Retire My Room. Oh, Algerita, come on in. Welcome. Nice How are you to doing? meet you. My favorite room in all in the whole house is the kitchen. Uh, my first thing that I would really like to tell you about is my refrigerator. It leaks. Yeah, that's not good. When the refrigerator starts to drip, it's time to replace. Could we possibly change my stove? <gasps> yes. It's so old. Mom, I know she's a little kind of edgy right now. She's a little uptight because she doesn't know what is going on. I don't think she's going to like it, but when she sees it, she's going to have a change of heart. Yes, we are here to help you. <laughs> On day two of Retire My Room, and we're doing Brown Harwin's Kitchen. This wall and these uh, beams have to come down. So, this is where I come in to be my expert that I am. Okay, are we there ready? You go. You, after you. I take the first hammer. Exactly. Okay. Woo -hoo. I'll follow your lead. While the kitchen is receiving its makeover, Bronwyn decided to get a little makeover herself. It's pamper me time. Meanwhile, back at Bronwyn's house. So far, well, we moved a hot water heater to make room for the refrigerator, which the kitchen is small, so we wanted to get more space. So the best way to do that is to reset a refrigerator in the wall. And in order to do that, I have to remove the hot water heater and relocate the plumbing. So now I'm doing gas and I'm doing water. And I'm just about through with it. And we relocated the hot water heater in this little utility room that we added on a few years back. And, um, and then I'm gonna vent it out and so far. So, um, so it's a good spot for it. And then allow more room in the laundry room so that uh, so she have more storage. Hopefully in the kitchen, we're gonna see if we can restore the hardwood floor to bring it back to the original. Oh, so, that's gonna be a surprise. Oh yeah, well the main thing is to try, since the house was built in 1908, is try to keep the original. We don't wanna do too much change in it, but we wanna kinda modernize it and make it more workable for, for the owner of the house. That's so how's right. it going? It's going great, great. I've been doing a lot of handing of the tools and uh, helping them crawl under the crawl space and, uh, you know, handing them things basically, taking direction. Okay. That's what I'm doing. The great assistant that you That's are. Right. That's <laughs> right. And learn it. He's a good teacher. I'm picking up some pointers. Any challenges you've run across so far? Um, no, not really. Not, not, not. He's, he's got it all under control. Good morning, Miss Brown. How are you? Pretty good. You're excited. I am so excited. Good. Well, today's the day. You know this is the actual reveal of so your fun. kitchen makeover. Have you been good? Yes. You didn't. You didn't peek. No. Not once. I tried. No. They stopped. They stopped. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. Yeah. So, tell me, how was your spa day yesterday? I loved it. This is my first time ever. What? Really? I, I, I don't know what to do myself. I feel like a new child. There you go. That's what it's all about. So. I've been revived. <laughs> well, good, good. Okay. So, you ready? Yes. Okay. Let's get started. Okay. Before we go into the kitchen, I'm going to have to ask that you close your eyes. Sure, sure. Okay. Brown and Hardy, take a look at your brand new kitchen. <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Thank you! Oh, <laughs> what do you think? I love it! <laughs> I love it! You know what her kitchen used to look like. 
side. So this is John Edwards, the designer behind this extraordinary room. John, take us through the steps. Oh, God, this makes me so happy to see her reaction. <laughs> now you can start cooking those famous foods. <laughs> <laughs> she used to have a 42 inch old stove here blocking this whole entire doorway. So we moved that out. We moved the refrigerator out and we added a backsplash, a nice stone backsplash. We put the refrigerator in a reset wall that used to be a pantry once before and part of a kitchen. I mean part of, I'm sorry, part of a closet. We reset the refrigerator in. We opened up this doorway and made this big open doorway where it kind of opened up the kitchen and make it larger. She's got a washing dryer right there. We didn't change the cabinet, she just wanted a fresh coat of paint on it, so that's what we did. We added new hardware to it. We, we kept the old original countertop and we added a new light fixture. And uh, the floor was in really, wasn't in the shape that we wanted to be in. It was in poor condition. She wanted to keep the hardwood floor, so what we did, we decided to stain it a dark black stain and we put a few coats of varnish to kind of give it that nice shine to it. And it really came out pretty good. Why are you crying? Because I just I love it. I love it. You don't like you don't like your makeover? No, I don't like it. <laughs> I love it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. oh, she scared me there for a minute. I thought she was gonna be upset about those floors. Oh, we did have a challenge on those floors. She wanted to keep the hardwood floors, the natural hardwood floors that were there, which was fine. It was a good idea until we started to make and pull and pull up that old linoleum that was there. And what did we find when we pulled up that linoleum? It was unbelievable. This floor was a disaster. So. Myself and mastermind John Edwards, we put our heads together and came up with this brilliant idea. Why not just take a black stain and stain the whole floor black? Mind you, black is the new end. So we, we, we stained the floor, we came back and shellacked it, put about four coats of natural polyurethane top coat to Real, to, to bring out that brilliant shine. And voila, there you have it. We're coming to the end of a very exciting episode. That's it, that's a wrap on Miss Brown's house. Stay tuned to find out who's gonna be the next senior who, homeowner who wants to retire my room. She was going to love it. Right? Right? We knew she was going to love it.